Hi, Charlie here. Today we're going to talk crow calling and the nasty crow. To practice this, I like to practice for a few minutes for several days instead of practicing it one day for a long time. First thing about using a crow call or any game call is air presentation. Easiest way to do it is use the last air in your lungs, like you're going to clean glasses. <laughs> the warm air. That air should go into directly to the call. No cheeks would pop out, then you do it, it correctly. If you're doing it like this, it's going to be harder to control. Second thing is putting your call to your mouth. Um, I like to put my lips over my teeth and put some pressure on the tone board. And the only contact the call should have with your mouth is with your lips. Over your teeth. You should not do like this. It's not going to sound correct. Now we're one step closer to use the call correctly. Third thing to blow a crow call is vibration or a rolling R. But it isn't really a rolling R because I'm not moving my tongue. The vibration or the R should come from the chest and adding that with compressed air and pressure going to sound like this. <coughs> Sounds a little bit better. And the next thing we're going to add to crow calling is your hands. And what do the hands do? It adds some back pressure and you can control the sound. Uh, I like to hold it like this between my thumb and my index finger and just move in like this and to start the sound I, I have the hand closed and I'm opening it up and closing it. Now adding that to the earlier steps you're going to sound something like this. And now it's when the call is getting powerful and you're getting all the sound out of it. Here you can play around a lot and adding voice and less voice and blow harder. And this is with only one hand. Adding the other hand, you can even control the sound more. To sound like more crows. <coughs> Putting all of those steps together you can uh, use the call correctly and you get the most power out of the call. <coughs> to practice this, practice one step at a time and don't go to the next step before you feel you can control the step you're at. The, like I said, the, the, the most important thing is to find the correct air to put into the call. And that with the combining the other steps, you're going to get great volume out of the call. When you feel that you can uh, master the call, I have some uh, tips. Don't use the call more than you need. If the crows are coming to you, no need to blow. The, the thing is you should uh, think of is the same sound can have three different meanings. And uh, what I mean with that is from a call, you can change that to alarm sound. You can 
use it as greeting and you can use it uh, for excitement. And that is by putting feelings into the sound. What I mean with that is alarm sound, you don't do the vibration, you just and for excitement, you're adding more crow. And you play with different pitches and speeds. And same sound for good eating. Or just crow singing. By putting all of those steps together, you can change the feeling in the sound from excitement to greeting to alarm car. So have that in mind by playing around. Uh, what feeling what, what do you want to put out for the crows? Uh, do you hunt over owl? So you want a lot of excitement? Do you have decoys so you want to use greeting or comfort sound and watch out so you don't do the alarm call. Hope you learn how to use the crow call today and hit the like button once or twice or sus sus subscribe.